super concerned about McDonald's parking lot. You never know who you're gonna meet in one of these McDonald's parking lots. I caught Hillary and the boys and Tushi watching some of my old videos and I thought I'd leave them a little, well, you're gonna hear it there, but I, I thought I'd leave them a little Easter egg in case they happen to watch this one sometime later. I just wanted to say that. Hello! Ha! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? It's about 3.30 in the morning. That thing is way too bright. Busy day. Busy day. Get some stuff cleaned up in the snake room here. Get get my whole little table set up cleaned up because we don't leave this thing here all the time. Otherwise, it'd be... It just takes up too much space in here. We gotta get it out of the way. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a boring detail of today. I shouldn't even have talked about that. I don't know why I'm telling you. I think we should take a look at a clutch is hatching, another clutch that might be hatching, and then we'll just move along. So we've got at least one snake that is shed out so far, but not all of them yet. So the, the pairing for this clutch was an edgy red stripe spot nose clown with our cinnamon lesser head clown. And this snake right here in particular, I think is gonna be the, the gem of the clutch. Uh, still not shed out, actually in shed, so not looking nearly as bright. None of them are looking as good. I shouldn't even be showing this right now. Um, in fact, yeah, let's stop looking at that. Now, this is exciting right here. Always awesome to see a clutch hatching out. It's just one of the coolest things about keeping a breeding snake is that moment when the babies start popping out. This is Mama Bubbles. She's a champagne, and she was paired with the King, our Coral Glow Pied. And you can see a little head popping out there. So cool. That head popping out down there, that looks like it's probably a Coral Glow Champagne. And it's just gorgeous. And there's another another little snake in here that's cut the egg and take a little peek here maybe. I see some, some white. Ugh, we'll just wait till they actually come out of the egg to look at them. But I just love seeing that little face. Look at that little face. That little face popping out down there. It's freaking adorable then. Can you focus on that little face camera? It'd be so cool if you could. Face. Hello, face. Welcome to the world, face. Oh, that's nice. We're actually selling this little dude today. He's in shed, unfortunately, but we're selling him semi-locally. The person that is getting him lives about 100 miles away. So instead of shipping him, I think that's a little too close for shipping. So we're just going to drive and meet them halfway. I'm thankful they were open to doing that because otherwise, you know, it seems ridiculous to have to ship a snake when it's only that close. So for now, I'm going to get this place cleaned up and I'm going to go meet some buddies for some early morning pickleball. Dude, I've been trying to auction off this knife for like the last little while on the live streams we've been doing this month. Live stream this Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific time, this knife, it's, it needs to go and it needs to raise money for US Arc and the Legacy Reptarium. Come join the Super Stream. Super Stream? Come join this live stream on Tuesday. Super Chat. Get the knife. I have no coffee left. I don't always have coffee every day. On days like today, some coffee would be nice, but we're out and all the stores are closed. Dude, these rack shelves, Freedom Breeder rack shelves, constantly using them like every second of every day I'm in the snake room. You need them. You need them. Dude, look at how this girl is doing. So beautiful, man. And she pinstripe, red stripe, spot nose, possible yellow belly clown. Just looking incredible, dude. Oh. Another clutch is hatching. I was not expecting this one to be hatching yet, bro. I'm so stoked about this clutch. Yes, we got clown pies. Oh, and she clown pies too. Oh. <coughs> oh. Yes. There are several Enchi Clown Pied heads popping out of that clutch right now. Oh, yes. 
This one was laid on April 12th, and this other one over here was laid on April 6th. I guess it's not too crazy they're hatching out at the same time. All right. So, so sweet. Pickleball done. On to the next. Good games. Hate to admit this, but it's only 6.30 a.m. and I'm, I feel like it's time to go to sleep for the red day. <laughs> Did a 3 a.m. yesterday, so it's, oh uh, yeah, here we go. Right, Patrick? My brother from another mother, look. Mom says that you need to come home and see her every once in a while. <laughs> if none of you guys have ever played pickleball, I highly, highly recommend it. It's ridiculously fun, maybe slightly addictively so. And uh, I'm actually gonna start teaching some classes at our local health club in a couple weeks here for beginner pickleball uh, playing. So yeah, I'm, I've been having a blast with it. I highly recommend it. If you've not tried it, dude, fun. This water filter that I have, that used for our drinking water and the snakes drinking water, fill up these buckets with, it actually has an automatic timer, so it stops after five gallons. Oh, you like closed the door on me, but. Thanks, sir. Oh. I love carrying five gallon buckets of water down the stairs. It keeps me in shape, it keeps me spry, it keeps me limber. Let's try it. All right, so pretty soon here, I gotta head to VBS doing volunteering there for this week. And uh, may I mention that already? Maybe. I gotta do that before we make the drive to go get that snakey delivered. No, Sage. You excited for VBS? Yes. Eli, what's your favorite thing about VBS so far? Story and Rick. These kids are so quiet sometimes. You see them when they're not in front of the camera. Hey T, are you excited about VBS today? Yeah. What's your favorite thing? That I hope I'm gonna win. Aren't these shirts so fun? Look at how they're bright and you fun. You turned off the sink when I was rinsing my hands. Oh, you're fine. I like bagel with my cream cheese. How do you do it? Cream cheese with your bagel makes everything better. That was so much fun. I was so stoked for those kiddos, man. So much energy. That that game was freeze tag, if you couldn't tell. And then playing those songs with the worship band, like some fun. That's the energy. Ah! I mean, I was so tired when I got here. Now I'm just like pumped. About to make the drive. Hillary dropped off the uh, the snakey to me here, so I'm gonna make that drive, get them there safely, and uh, yeah, on the move today. Super nice guys. You never know who you're gonna meet in one of these McDonald's parking lots. I wish I could deliver every snake in person. That's why I love going to shows with the snakes. But you know, Morph Market does a great job of connecting folks and getting snakes uh, in the hands of the people that that want them and care about them. So cool, awesome. I'm not gonna film all the way home. Let's just let's just go there. Ah, <laughs> dude. While I was gone, I had this whole oops box of cocoa blocks. I just love how. One little brick of cocoa blocks turns into this whole thing when you just leave it to soak and it's just full now and it's like ready for snakes. It's awesome! <laughs> As quick, quick just a word to the wise since I'm just like meeting random people in McDonald's parking lots. I don't want to encourage that that's like always the best idea. You know, you got to take into account a, a few things. Like I used to walk through downtown LA and like Echo Park in the middle of the night when I was 18. I, not, not that that was smart. I don't have much fear in me for many things. So I don't 
come across as a victim, I don't think. And that's when where people like to prey on people that are easy targets. They don't like people that are not easy targets. I, I don't think I'm an easy target. I, I, I know for a fact I'm not an easy target. And that's probably why I've been okay in most situations. And then also take into account, like, like I mean, if I was a, like a teenage girl, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I, I say that because I'm sure there's folks out here that are going to be selling snakes locally or doing things like this. And you just, you know, I'm going through Morph Market, of course. So there's, you got that level of protection. It's not just some random Craigslist person, hundred dollar snake. So hundred dollars does not go nearly as far as it used to. It's not like it's something worth trying to do something like that to somebody over in the first place. They were smart because they came with two people. That's probably a smarter thing to do. And we met in a public bright place. But my point is if I was selling like a $10,000 snake or even a thousand dollar snake, I would make sure that that was paid like electronically first before bringing the animal. I wouldn't just show up in a random parking lot to meet somebody for some some amount that would be, you know, somebody might be considering trying to do something shady. $100 snake, not super concerned about that meeting, broad daylight, McDonald's parking lot. And I'm pretty good at telling a scam from the first like two sentences of the text. Like, ah, sorry, sounds horrible. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought I'd say that out loud since... At least my mom's got to be thinking it. Somebody's got to be thinking it out there. So I figured I'd just say what I'm thinking about it out loud. All right. Yeah. Public service announcement over. <sighs> Hopefully that doesn't keep me up until three in the morning. <laughs> Again, it's, it's been about 12 hours since I got up and mommy had to go to her acupuncture appointment. <laughs> Oh, you're just hanging out with my tiny Berettas and my Tushy Moo. I caught Hillary and the boys and Tushy watching some of my old videos. I, I thought I'd leave them a little Easter egg in case they happen to watch this one sometime later. I just wanted to say that I love you kids and Hillary, you are the best mommy that these kids could have ever asked for and also the best wife I could have ever asked for. Super supportive and we're all just super blessed to have you in our lives. And, I know times are tough right now with little brothers and raising the kids. I'm not not too, only tough. You've you've certainly recognized the blessings we have now, but it, you know, the struggles of a, a mother in this stage of life are also real. So we just love you and appreciate you very much. And hopefully you watch this video at some point so that you can hear me saying that to the camera. I'll say it to you in person too. Hold me accountable if I don't. Please. <laughs> All right, brothers. We out of here. You can say bye bye. Say bye bye, brothers. <laughs> Scrunch face, double chin, triple chin. I want to say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next video. Aloha. Dad? T? Can we watch some of your old videos? <laughs> yes.